Dear brothers and sisters, let me just make a short reflection on today's gospel, particularly what Jesus speaks about marriage, a marital relationship between a woman and a man. Well, there is no such thing as divorce in Catholic Church. Please try to understand this, because quite often we make this term in our conversation. I had my divorce with so and so and I married again. There is no such thing called divorce because according to Christian understanding, according to Catholic understanding, God puts a man and woman together in the sacrament of marriage and then there is this indissolubility of marriage. Well, what God has put together, let no human being let nothing on the face of the earth put asunder. That's what the scripture tells us. Well, yet we come across people who uh, get into separate lives even after marriage and the numbers are going rapidly high. Now, this is what uh, Pope Francis again and again emphasizes about the indissolubility of marriage and family life. Now, we still have something called annulment of marriage and nullification of marriage. What does it mean? It means that marriage really did not occur. That is what happened in most cases or in all the cases where the, the, the church grants what is called a null and void situation. Well, what does that mean? That means there was no full freedom full consent or full knowledge about the implications that are contained in the sacrament of marriage and therefore there was no real marriage that happened so separation is allowed. Let us be clear about these terms. So let's pray in a very special way for all the couples and all those who are uh, kind of contemplating the married life that they will ever remain faithful to each other till the end of their life. That is what they make a promise in front of the blessed sacrament in the presence of the representative of the church who is the priest. They make a promise of marriage that I will remain till the end of my life, faithful to you, I will love you as I love myself in times of sickness, in times of health, in times of happiness, in times of sadness. So let that be alive, always kept in the minds of the couples who enter into marital relationship, marital covenant. Covenant it is. It is a covenant, it's not a contract. A contract means I will love you as long as you love me. I will be faithful to you as long as you are faithful to me. I will be loyal to you as long as you are loyal to me. But that is not a contract. It's not based on rules and regulations. It is a covenantal relationship with God, which God has with the people of Israel, which Christ has for his church here on earth. Which means unconditionally I'm going to be with you till the end of my life. Let this be ever reverberating in the minds of the couples who are entering into and who have already entered into the sacrament of marriage. Having said that, today is the Pro-Life Sunday. We give thanks to God for the life that God has given to us. We want to protect life right from conception up to the natural death of human existence. We want to give respect to life. We want to give glory to God who has given us life, who has given us graces uh, sufficient and more right from childhood or even be before childhood, that even before we were born. He was loving us unconditionally. We want to give thanks to God for all that God has given to us. And how, how can we make that thanksgiving? In a very concrete manner, we are asked to make our stewardship renewal pledge today. And that's what uh, probably the best way, uh, best symbolic way that we can offer back to God whatever He has uh, given to us as uh, 
uh, as a, a person who is filled with gratitude. So may I now request all of you to uh, pass that, uh, uh, those cards that are available there. Uh, you have it on your benches. You, uh, you will have it there in uh, uh, two forms. One long sheet which is meant for the adults and the smaller ones are meant for the youngsters, the youth. So please decide on whether you are an adult family member or whether you are a youth and please pick up one of each of these and please pass the uh, pencils also to each one here. There are some pencils there. Okay. So we have uh, a prayer here, St. Patrick's Parish. Kindly stand and recite this prayer along with me right now that we are ready to give glory to God and renew our stewardship relationship renewal. Prayer of St. Patrick's Parish. Gracious God, I come to you in thanksgiving, knowing that all I am and all that I have is a gift from you. In faith and love, help me to do your will. I am listening, dear Lord. Speak your words into the depth of my soul, that I may hear you clearly. I offer to you all the areas of my life whether it be at home, at work, or at school, to be patient, to be merciful, to be generous, to be holy. Give me the wisdom and insight to understand your will for me and the fervor to fulfill my good intentions. Offer my gifts of time, talent, and possessions to you as a true act of faith to reflect my love for you and my neighbor. Help me to reach out to others as you, my God, have reached out to me. In your holy name, I pray, amen. Kindly be seated. Uh, let me just go through this uh, with you. But before that, may I invite all of you to write your name and address, phone, cell phone, and the email ID. It's just for us to be in touch with each other, especially from the church personnel, the pastor or the uh, secretary, to be in touch with you. And some of you may be not belonging to this parish. It doesn't matter if you are just a visitor as well. You can, uh, and if you are uh, kind of contemplating to join this uh, parish, you are welcome as well. So please write down at this moment uh, your name, address, phone numbers, email whoever has got email. Are you all writing? Okay. Uh, so please uh, make sure that everybody writes, not one from the family, all of you. All of you should have a card in your hand, not just one. So if the husband and wife both are here, uh, please make sure that you, uh, you pick up one card each and the uh, youth of our parish as well. Just wanting to update the kind of information you require for, all of you, all for you as we are um, going to fill up here now. Uh, you have it there. Uh, I will continue my faith formation by participating in. There are a number of things over there. Alpha, if you do not know, Alpha is a simple 10-week program that presents the basics of uh, uh, what we believe in. And uh, we are currently in the third week of this program, and uh, we have over 60 participants. And there is going to be another one starting in the month of January, and we hope to conduct uh, uh, at least three such programs in the coming year. So that's what Alpha is. There is something called Choice Wine there, which is a marriage enrichment program for couples. 
It will begin on October 12th and run on Monday evenings. There's something called That Man Is You. It's for the men of the parish. They are just beginning a new session and they meet on Tuesday mornings at 6.30 a.m. And that's, that's on the left side. On the right side you have a prayer. I will commit to a next step in taking, me, taking time with God through prayer by whatever is applicable to you, whatever you are prompted to, uh, kind of commit yourself to, please stick. And prayer is something very important for all of us and uh, so participating during Sunday Mass, taking time each day to identify, reflect about uh, God, thanking God, uh, thanking God for His blessings, giving thanks before and after every meal regardless of circumstances or location, etc. Praying together with my family, which all of us can in fact do, create a personal plan for regular prayer, read the scriptures, spend time, pray the rosary, spend time each week in adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. We have every Thursday starting from 6 o'clock in the morning going up to the evening, uh, uh, adoration happening in our Eucharistic chapel right behind here. So you may be encouraged to participate in that maybe for one hour or half an hour, whatever your convenient time would allow you to do. If you have uh, seen the f uh, uh, that page, uh, kindly turn over to the next page behind. You have what the services we are going to commit ourselves to. I honor God with my life by continuing my involvement or beginning service in the following areas of discipleship and ministry. So you have it there. If you are already a member of these service units, kindly put a tick there on the left side where there is the line or you want to begin in this particular ministry, please put a tick or uh, dot in the circle that is provided there. So you have it on the left hand side, liturgical ministries, we want to have altar servers for weekday masses, cantor, Eucharistic minister, instrumentalist, there are a number of people who are gifted with the, the musical talents here, we are aware, but we require musical talents to be used for our liturgy. Lecture liturgy committee, lecture. We didn't have a lecture today for your information. Just on the last minute, the uh, person who is, uh, 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 who is doing the ministry of the lecture has been called and she is doing the service. So please, if you are called to this service, lecture liturgy committee, liturgy committee, ministry of hospitality for weekend mass, etc. You can go through all that. There are other parish ministries, child care, whenever there is a, a program, and then help with religious formation of youth, and uh, help with parish social media, if you are good at graphics, graphic designing, filming, writing, website, etc. And then there are those parish organizations, Catholic da Daughters, Knights of Columbus, St. Patrick's Council of Catholic Women, Sarah Club. Sarah Club precisely uh, takes care of the vocation dimension of our Christian life, especially they pray for uh, vocations to priesthood and religious life. And we require their help very much because we lack seminarians. And we have just one seminarian uh, for the diocese who is preparing for priesthood. So you know the gravity of the matter. Stewardship Council. Then you have it there as bargain bin, community meal. I hope those are familiar to you. Food pantry. Uh, these are various uh, services that are taking place in the parish. Our bargain bin in a, is in our parish the Goodwill store. It's open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. It's run strictly by volunteers. And the community meal is offered at the local Episcopal Church. Our parish provides volunteers the fourth Wednesday of each month. It is a fun way to help those who are in need of a good dinner. 
then the food pantry can always use help in people willing to unload trucks and store our food people who can interview potential clients and people who will deliver the food to the clients homes etc then you have what is called helping hands where a number of uh, uh, activities are there alter care buildings and grounds repair wake for parish events care of plants carpentry cleaning computer skills donate salads donate treats electrical work etc a number of things that are there and finally you have what is called sacrificial offering which we suggest to you to do uh, maybe 6% to st patrick's if you are able to contribute more than that you are welcome at st patrick each household is asked to work toward giving 6% of their income to the parish not out of their uh, what they call um, the savings but out of their income which means uh, if you are having 20000 annual income 6% will be a weekly gift of $23 if it is 40000 obviously it will be the double 46 whatever you are desire, desiring to give to the church for the running of the parish for the growth of every member in faith uh, kindly do the pledging i am interested in the online giving we share program if you are intending to do that please put a tick would you please take one minute or two just to go through again and whatever the spirit inspires you to do at this moment please do the ticking and if you have finished doing it would you please hand over pass the things to those who are sitting on the edges of the pews and uh, would you please collect them somebody move along and collect when you have gathered all the cards would you please come and drop them into the basket Please stand for the creed I believe in